I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about glutathione as a nootropic, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Glutathione is a tripeptide made up of cysteine, glycine, and glutamine, and present in high concentrations in every cell in your body. As an antioxidant, Glutathione's primary role is to protect your cells from free radical damage and plays a vital role in detoxification. Glutathione protects against chronic illness. It supports liver health and reduces insulin resistance. Some research shows that glutathione may even help prevent the progression of cancer. The benefits of supplementing with glutathione may help prevent and even reduce the symptoms associated with emotional and mental health disorders. Other glutathione benefits include improved digestion, clearer skin, stronger hair and nails, and healthier vision. Glutathione is unique because it can help improve the health of nearly all cell types in your body, including your brain, liver, eyes, skin, pancreas, or any other organ that requires support. As a nootropic, glutathione boosts memory, clearer thinking, and it helps prevent neurodegenerative disease such as Alzheimer's and dementia and it boosts energy levels. So in this video, we'll focus on how glutathione works in your brain. You can increase your body's glutathione production by eating foods that contain the basic components of the amino acids, glutamate, cysteine, and glycine. You can get glutathione from eating onions, garlic, spinach, avocado, asparagus, uh, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower, and meat. But your digestive tract doesn't absorb glutathione well. It is rapidly absorbed during digestion. And fortunately, many of the same foods that contain glutathione also contain the individual amino acids that your body uses to make glutathione. And these foods include eggs, lentils, chicken, fish, dairy products, legumes, garlic, shallots, and onions, and cruciferous vegetables, such as broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, bok choy, and Brussels sprouts. Glutathione is so critical to your cellular health that it exists in cells at the same levels as glucose, potassium, and cholesterol, all nutrients that are essential for energy and cellular function. As your master antioxidant, glutathione plays a key role in the defense of brain cells against oxidative stress. It neutralizes free radicals, is a cofactor for several antioxidant enzymes, and helps regenerate vitamin C and vitamin E already in your system. Glutathione assists in the transport of heavy metal ions, such as mercury, out of cells, including your brain. It helps regulate cellular growth and apoptosis, and it's vital to mitochondrial function and the maintenance of mitochondrial DNA. Your body requires a steady supply of glutathione to function optimally. Glutathione deficiency has been associated with neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Huntington's, OCD, and even autism. Glutathione increases the number of T cells, which are white blood cells, in your body, a key component of your immune system, and stimulates the production and activity of natural killer cells and supports immune cell normal antibody response. In fact, glutathione deficiency in its precursor cysteine is a feature of HIV. One study showed that supplementing with anacetyl L-cysteine, or NAC, a precursor to glutathione, caused a significant increase in immune response in HIV-infected patients. Your body naturally produces glutathione, but that ability decreases with age, and decreases at any age when you're under stress. Glutathione boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular st stand out. First, glutathione protects brain mitochondria from oxidative stress. Glutathione is your number one antioxidant in your body. As an antioxidant, it neutralizes and scavenges free radicals, protecting your mitochondria from oxidative damage. Free radicals are molecules with unpaired electrons. Free radicals increase because of various toxins, industrial chemicals, air pollutants, UV light, certain drugs, and pesticides. Free radicals in excess pair with other free electrons in cells, resulting in decreased cellular function and disease. Antioxidants such as glutathione attach to free electrons, preventing them from causing oxidative stress. 
In your brain, neurons rely on the presence of extracellular cysteine for glutathione synthesis. The best extracellular pre precursor for glutathione synthesis in your brain is glutamine. But astrocytes prefer glutamate and cysteine as precursors. In fact, astrocytes play a key role in glutathione metabolism in your brain. And the second way it works, glutathione helps recycle other antioxidants. When your brain uses antioxidants such as vitamin C and vitamin E, glutathione recycles these important antioxidants and puts them back into play. Enhancing the efficiency of this de detoxification process, helping your brain to function optimally. When your brain has enough glutathione, you can potentially avoid anxiety, depression, and more serious diseases such as Alzheimer's, Huntington's, and Parkinson's. It would be difficult to understate the benefits of having sufficient levels of glutathione in your body. It helps your body detox and is vital to protecting your cells from free radical damage. Your brain uses at least 20% of your oxygen supply to function, which makes it highly susceptible to oxidative stress. Healthy levels of glutathione help prevent oxidative stress, and it allows your brain to function as designed. Supplementing with glutathione helps prevent anxiety and depression. Adequate glutathione supports healthy and clear cognition, and helps protect your brain against diseases as you age. But glutathione's benefits aren't limited to your brain. It plays a protective role in nearly, nearly every cell in your body, protecting you from a variety of degenerative and inflammatory diseases. Neurohackers who supplement with glutathione report increased energy levels, improved digestion, decreased inflammation, clearer thinking, improved skin tone, and stronger hair and nails. As your master antioxidant, glutathione boosts cellular health throughout your system. People who suffer from with Hashimoto's disease and diabetes and chronic fatigue syndrome report more energy when gl using glutathione. Glutathione can improve digestion, including the symptoms of leaky gut syndrome, and may also ease allergy symptoms. With the established link between gut health and brain health, it comes as no surprise that many users of glutathione report clear thinking. Supplementing with glutathione helps you detox, pro providing clear skin. Many people report that it makes their skin glow. You may find that your hair and nails grow stronger when supplementing with glutathione. Some say they notice improvement in their hearing and better sense of smell and better vision after taking glutathione. It can also help prevent cataracts. Some people report that glutathione helped he help them heal their cataracts. Many people report that glutathione is their best hangover prevention weapon. They say that if they remember to take it on the night when they've been drinking too much, they feel little to no effect the next morning. With such a widespread detoxifying role throughout your body, glutathione has been shown to positively affect many organs and systems. And here we'll focus on three that affect cognitive function. The first one is glutathione for OCD. Several studies suggest lower cerebral levels of glutathione may contribute to obsessive compulsive disorder. Researchers at Harvard Medical School in McLean Hospital in Belmont, Massachusetts recruited 29 patients suffering from OCD and 25 matching controls who didn't have OCD. The participants' brains were scanned using magnetic resonance spectroscopy to examine glutathione levels in their posterior cingulate cortex. The study found significantly lower glutathione levels in those with OCD compared with the control group. The research team concluded that lower glutathione levels increased oxidative stress and hypermetabolism in the PCC brain region in people with OCD. The next study, Glutathione for Alzheimer's, a study published in Neuropharmacology studied the effect of glutathione supplementation in mice with biological indicators like those with Alzheimer's. Mice were supplemented with glutathione for three weeks. The mice treated with glutathione showed decreased inflammation and had reduced cognitive decline and less depression and anxiety.
The researchers concluded that glutathione supplementation is attractive as a therapy for reducing oxidative stress and inflammation in the brains of people with Alzheimer's. And the last one you might enjoy, glutathione to reduce hangovers. Animal studies have shown that supplementing with glutathione may be useful in preventing hangovers. In one study, rats in the experimental group were fed a preparation of glutathione-enriched yeast and rice embryo soybean extracts for two weeks, and control rats were not given this extract. The rats in both groups were then intoxicated with ethanol, and blood alcohol levels were analyzed for several hours. The rats in the pretreatment group had lower blood concentrations of alcohol. The researchers concluded that glutathione should be studied as a candidate for mitigating hangovers. The recommended nootropic dosage for reduced or liposomal glutathione for immune support is 250 to 1,000 milligrams per day. Glutathione is not well absorbed in your digestive system, so the liposomal form of glutathione is preferred. You can also increase your glutathione levels by supplementing with one of my favorite supplements, N-acetyl-L-cysteine, or NAC, which is a direct precursor to glutathione. NAC is easily digested and goes on to help produce glutathione in your liver. Recommended nootropic dosage of NAC is 600 milligrams three times a day. Glutathione is non-toxic, so is considered well-tolerated and safe. The side effects are rare, but can include digestive cramping and bloating, and possible skin rash if you apply glutathione to your skin. If you have asthma, you should avoid supplementing with glutathione. And if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, please check with your doctor before beginning glutathione supplementation. Glutathione supplements are available in tablets, soft gels, capsules, powder, liquid, nasal spray, and IV. Capsules are generally 350 to 500 milligrams each. Glutathione exists in cells in two states, reduced glutathione and oxidized glutathione. If you are buying regular glutathione, choose a supplement label that says reduced glutathione, which is the active form your immune system needs, and not the oxidized form of glutathione. Early human clinical trials of supplemental glutathione showed it was not uh, absorbed well as a supplement. And for years, it was thought that using glutathione precursors were a superior method of increasing stores of this vital antioxidant in your body. But the latest research shows with daily, long-term usage, you can raise glutathione levels by supplementing with glutathione. Now, the best way to increase your glutathione levels is by IV infusion but this method is expensive and not easily available to the average neurohacker. So, supplement manufacturers have found another method for boosting glutathione absorption, and it's called liposomal, which means glutathione is encased in a sack of lipid molecules made from soy or sunflower lecithin, which makes it easier for the molecule to cross cell membranes and into the cell. A patented form of liposomal glutathione called cetriaglutathione has been shown to be the quickest way to increase your glutathione levels. A six-month randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial of cetriaglutathione, 250 or 1,000 milligrams per day, was conducted with 54 adults. Blood levels of glutathione increased after one, three, and six months at both doses. At six months, the low-dose group showed 29% glutathione levels, and the high-dose group showed 35% glutathione levels. Now, you can get 250 milligrams of cetria glutathione in my favorite immune supplement called Performance Lab PL Immune. PL Immune also contains nutrigenous forms of vitamin D, vitamin C, selenium, zinc, and Amuse Paraprobiotic. Amuse is a patented strain of Lactococcus lactis probiotic, which is also functions to activate your immune system. Immuse activates plasmacytoid dendri dendritic cells, or PDC. 
Seven clinical trials have shown that PDC can activate immune cells such as NK killer T, helper T, and B cells, providing broad range immune support. The Performance Lab PL Immune is only $49 for a one month supply for the best immune supplement available today. Or you can get three boxes and you can buy one, you can get one free, and that includes free shipping. So my nootropics expert recommendation for glutathione is 250 to 1,000 milligrams per day. And that's my reporting glutathione. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropics expert and search for glutathione. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video. And you'll find dozens of articles on all the best known nootropics over on nootropics expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using glutathione, please use the comment section below this video or at the bottom of my glutathione review over on Nootropics Expert. I try my best to respond to comments and questions as quickly as I can. And if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details in 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And did I mention it's free? And consider getting a copy of my book, Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. Head First is nearly 600 pages and the best guide on the planet for fixing and optimizing your brain. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar below this video. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.